Um, the next thing I want to talk about uh, briefly before we uh, take questions and before we close is the site structure. Now, um, as you uh, as you probably already know, WordPress has four native structural elements. It has pages, posts, categories, and tags. Now, uh, a page is a piece of static content. So on my site, for example, um, a page is, um, well, let's see. Let's go to my site outside of... when I'm not logged in. So when you're not when I'm not logged in, this is my home page. This is a page on my site. Um, so is uh, this subscribe now. Um, this is a page. Uh, so is this video tutorials page. And um, these are all static pages. And we will be creating, um, uh, and so we'll be using these static pages for, um, for uh, one part of the site. However, uh, the, the other thing that we'll also use are blog posts or posts. Now, posts are not static. Um, uh, posts are intended for information that changes uh, routinely. And so uh, uh, posts generally are displayed on the blog page and they have, um, uh, they have renewing content. So you will uh, post, say this is my latest blog post, how to add an image to Thesis 1.8. And then before that, my latest blog post was WordPress and Thesis as a Complex CMS. And then before that one, I had How to Create Context-Sensitive Sidebars and Thesis. And then before that was my live question and answer session. So these are blog posts that, that um, follow sequentially one on each other. And when I post a new blog post, it comes to the top of the list and everything else shifts down. The difference between posts and pages is that um, if I add a new page, nothing happens to this page, right? Th this, this page still stays exactly where it is, um, but when I add a new post, uh, this post is going to move down the page and become, uh, you know, less and less important as more posts get added. So we'll be using both posts and pages. And then we'll be using categories and tags. Now, categories are uh, the way of hierarchically organizing a post. So, for example, just so that you can see what that hierarchy might look like, if I select this post, you can see that um, here's my hierarchy. The f we first have the category video tutorial series. And then the second category within that is using thesis. And then we have the post, how to add a header image to thesis 1.8. So this is a category, and this is a subcategory of that category, and you have this hierarchical relationship. Well, um, in addition to that, uh, we are also um, going to... Uh, well, and the, one of the reasons why we do that is so that we can generate these URLs. Um, and what we're trying for is semantic URLs, which is something that Google really likes. That is a URL that reads like an English sentence. So you can tell that byobwebsite.com, video tutorials, how to use thesis, add a header image to thesis. By looking at that URL, you can tell what this post is going to be about. And so that's the rationale for using... Um, uh, that's the rationale for using these uh, uh, categories. Now, for tags, um, uh, uh, tags themselves uh, don't have any hierarchy, and so you're not going to use them hierarchically. And um, I use a system of tags called uh, lesson subjects to help um, 
uh, organize my content all the way across the site. And so uh, my lesson subjects are not hierarchical. They're just, they all sit on the same level. So for example, uh, header image, this is one tag. Um, and uh, I could choose, instead of that tag, I could choose, for example, here's another tag, SH Slideshow. And that's how, you know, to, that, that tag is how to use SH Slideshow. Or I've got, um, let's see, I've got another tag called Plugins. And this, this is a list of every uh, video on my site that has something to do with plugins. And, uh, you know, and you can just kind of keep on exploring. For example, um, you know, here's the dynamic content gallery. So this is a list of every um, video on the site about the dynamic content gallery. And uh, this one's about the next gen gallery. So again, here's a list of every uh, video on the site about the next gen gallery. That's how these uh, tags work. Um, uh, tags are a way of, of not developing a uh, hierarchy, but just having a, uh, another organizational way of understanding the content. And so we will have, um, or we will be using both categories and tags, and those will be used to index um, our blogs. So um, however, we're not using, uh, you can't use categories and tags on pages. And so in terms of pages, um, we are, but are, the, the thing though is that pages have their own internal hierarchy or built-in hierarchy. A page can be a sub-page of another page. And, um, and ad infinitum, you can have sub, 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 sub pages, each of them nested within another page. You can't do that with posts. You get that same kind of hierarchy with categories and posts. But pages can all be, can be nested amongst them, themselves and thus be sub-pages. And so, um, our top level pages on this site are going to be, um, uh, well, in terms of our, um, for example, our, our landing pages, those are all going to be pages. So that landing page component, that is the home page, the sales pages, the product pages, the information pages, those are all going to be pages and not posts. Uh, the same thing is true for course material. Um, uh, well, uh, well, first, all those landing page, all that landing page information is going to be public. Um, uh, but course material pages, that all that all those pages are going to be private, and um, and we'll have uh, courses and lesson pages under those. And um, each of these pages will have their own or this, the page system will have its own page hierarchy. And uh, for example, across the t our top level page hierarchy, which is essentially what you see here, is the top level hierarchy. We're gonna have a home page, which will be public. We'll have a products page, which will be public. We'll have a courses page, which will be hidden. We'll have a member dashboard page, which will be hidden. We'll have a promotions page, which will be for our more traditional landing page, squeeze page kind of thing. Um, we'll have uh, that kind of page, and that's going to be entirely invisible. We'll have an about page, which will be public. We'll have a contact page, which will be public. We'll have a forum page, which will be publicly viewable. Um, and we'll have a blog page, which will be public. And so those are, those are our top-level hierarchy pages. Or our yes, those are our top level pages, and in fact, our top level navigation items. They'll be home. Our main navigation menu is going to have home, products, um, about, contact, forum, and blog as our pages. And the home page is just going to be a static um, uh, landing page. It's going to be your main landing page, like my home page is. Um, you know, once a person is a member of your site, your home page is no longer important to them. Uh, it's no longer necessary to display. Um, the uh, products page is essentially going to be your course catalog, which is uh, very much like my video tutorials page here. It's going to uh, show each of your courses with links 
off to individual product pages. And then um, those individual product pages, uh, for example, um, start building your website here. This would be like an individual product page that would describe the, um, the, the course and what's in the course and all the rest of that kind of stuff. And then, um, okay, and so then the, the next kind of page you'll have is a courses page. And the courses page is essentially like a products page, except that the courses page is only going to be available to a, to a member who, when they are logged in. And it will essentially replace the, cor the products page. That is, the courses page will still have the ability for a logged in member to purchase um, courses, but they'll also be able to purchase renewals from that. And if they've purchased it, it will give them access then to individual less uh, course pages, like, for example, the Start Building Your Website here. This will be, this is similar to what we'll be constructing, which is a a, a course page. And then under that course page, there will be lesson pages. So you can see here, again, this page hierarchy. I have a page called Video Tutorials, which you saw at the very beginning, and is essentially my course courses page. I have the Start Building Your Website Here page, which is the course, one of the many courses that I have. And then Lesson 1 is this Lesson 1 page. And that's exactly the same way system we'll have here. You'll have your main courses page, you'll have your individual course page, and you'll have the individual lessons within that course. And that will replace the general products page that the public sees. And then um, the next thing we'll have is this member dashboard. And you can see that, for example, the member dashboard is not visible here, right, um, because I'm not logged in. Uh, the member dashboard is something that is seen only if you're logged in. And here I, on this, in Chrome, I am logged in. And so in Chrome, my affiliates shows up and my... Um, uh, my dashboard shows up, but I don't have a home page link and I don't have a testimonials link because those are all sales related. Um, and so I have a different uh, menu bar for my logged in condition. And uh, one of those is going to be this dashboard page. And that dashboard page will have all that profile stuff that I said before. And then we're going to have an about page. Um, my about page is also not visible once you're logged in, but the about page will be about you, about why, um, you know, it makes sense for uh, someone to listen to you, why you may have something that's valuable to say. Um, uh, that's the kind of page it will be. And, um, and then we're going to have a, a promotions page. Now, I don't well, actually, I do have a promotions page here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, I may have to go to my other. My promotion pages are sort of hidden uh, because um, I only use them for advertising purposes. But I think I can. Let's see. Let's just go look at pages. Your your promotion pages will be hidden as well. Um, Let's see, I think I have them down at the bottom of this. Uh, yeah, here we go. So this is a um, uh, this is a um, uh, uh, essentially a landing page, and if we view it. Uh, it looks like my home page, right? Except it's just one of these landing sales pages that's specifically directed at selling to a specific um, kind of client. This is uh, for uh, thesis in particular. If somebody's looking for thesis specifically, then from my advertising, then I refer them to this page. Anyway, we'll create those kinds of pages in this site. And um, we'll also create a uh, contact page, which I actually don't have here. Um, whoops, pardon me, I just turned on the wrong thing. I, uh, my contact 
uh, page really just comes from here. Uh, I've got a contact form. I've got Skype information. Um, and that sort of thing. So um, that this is what serves as my contact form uh, or my contact page. And then finally, of course, we'll have the form. And uh, the form will be like this. That is, you must be logged in in order to post. But you will be able to um, see uh, uh, posts uh, even if you're um, uh, even if you are not uh, a member. Um, and if you compare this forum uh, to uh, the forum when you're logged in, you will notice that there are some parts of this forum that are not available to uh, people who aren't logged in. So for example, the forum uh, for this specific um, uh, course is not going to be available to the general public and they won't even see it here. There are some parts of my forum that are only available to members when they're logged in and um, and you can't see those in this list right now. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing. And um, uh, we will only be using blog posts for the blog which uh, I mean, uh, if you pay, if you've been around me very much this year, you've you'll have seen that I spend almost all I've spent almost all of my time talking about custom posts, custom post types, custom taxonomies. Um, you know, we've done all manner of things with uh, those kinds of uh, uh, non-default WordPress elements, but uh, today we're not going to do that. Uh, today um, we are. Uh, going to only, or on this site, we're only going to use pages and posts, and we will focus on, um, uh, and we will focus on um, using blog posts only as posts. And so the categories and tags then will only um, index, um, they'll only index blog posts, whereas on this site, uh, my tags index. Uh, uh, custom post types and pages and everything else. So, okay, well, so your homework for today, if you have looked at, um, uh, if you have looked at this, um, the uh, lecture notes for the day, you'll see at the very bottom that there is a homework assigned. And what I want you to do in the intervening week is make sure you have a website set up with WordPress and with Thesis. And then um, if, you, uh, uh, if you don't have Thesis, then here's a, a link to use to download it. Uh, same thing with, is with, true with WPE Store and with WPE Member. Um, these are all premium uh, things, so you'll have to pay to have access to those. But uh, WP eStore has got a, a deal where you can buy eStore, eMember, and I believe um, affiliate, a WP affiliate, all together for a su substantially discounted price. So, um, uh, so don't buy them individually. Just buy them together as a group. And then I also want you to uh, install Change WP Email from Details, and there's a download link here for that. <clears throat> I'm also going to um, uh, later on today, put download links um, on this uh, create a membership website page uh, for you so that uh, over here, so that um, they're relatively uh, easily accessible. All of those links are here as well under the principal tools, except for that uh, change the f uh, email details. Um, you're going to have to get that from that link that I gave you or a link that's in the sidebar that you'll see later on today.